I don't remember what the. We'll, we'll come back to this after. You know what I'm about to say. Yeah, I like. No, I, I know. I know where you're going with it. Barter. Can he go up and try and grab the creep wave? No, he's dangerous. He has leveled up a photic shield. Can he body block? Body blocked up by Karka. Still has the tango regeneration in him, but with the creep wave, Fada, so much damage has to run back up again. But Mugi, able to reach him with one talon. Seems to work out quite a bit better. Yep. Pick up a tree and off you go again. Bottom lane, trouble for KP. The magic is on him. He will pop from that even if they didn't put the last hit in. And the TP rotation cancelled. Kaka, not know exactly where he wants to be. Able to get the stun off. Yeah, so oh, starts his snowball forward. Kaka, out of mana. And, uh, well, do they shard the top ramp? They're waiting to see. He wants Kaka to try and run out of here. And now, Puppy starts with the stun. Maldic got Tiger, but it won't matter. Yep, so with the shards. What item is KP going for? Medallion? Yeah, he got a medallion on KP. Medallion to Necros makes the most sense. Yeah. Or oh, even Blink Digger if they want to be a bit more aggressive. Into the rear, that's easy. T. Burns up the exorcism and they got enough damage. CT white. They come in close. The snowball is waiting and there's your rolling ball to fall. And Yaps yeah, so low. The Crypt Storm will kill him off. Now CT white. One second for that waveform comes off cooldown. He goes through SCCC. But Faith, he turns on the curse. And why oh why Poppy is like, I'm getting killed by my stand in just because you're able to put down the curse. Once so, you jump in with the slaughter, actually, or they're going on the Beastmaster. Oh yeah, tossing him back. Morphling wants this kill if they can give it to him, but the shards fly forward from Yapsor again. So, Stamp is starting to rise for this Morphling. The Lincoln is rapidly approaching in faith. The wave bomb in Yapsor again. punches the kill out, but no! Tiki White trapped in the trees! He couldn't get out! You talk about the life steal in combination with the slaughter! Well, that was just served for them on a silver platter. Yapsaw wants that. He's got 17 one shot. There's no point using him. He's dead. <laughs> attack into Ace. KP's nearby. Karka with the crush. Father. He had the aphonic shield. Put it onto himself. So the snowball from Tusker has to be used to try and save him. The infested target in the back lines. Lifesteal now pops out. The curse is there. But it's on Abaddon. And Abaddon just had his ult triggered. Borrowed time. So CTY gave him all the life. But he doesn't have any left for himself as NCCC came in through the back lines, mopped up the rest of Team Secret, triple killed for him. Still doesn't have his Lincolns up. It should have been like a minute 14 Lincolns instead of going to be like a minute 18, minute 19 Lincolns. Kaka, rolling boulder, snowball, snowball doesn't bring it up the hill. And no, that TP out won't work either. Avalanche trying to keep him away. A quick toss will kill off Kaka. Boogie in the middle of multiple oh. heroes. The walrus punch is there. You said there was one counter to him when he was in the rage, and that's exactly it. They toss forward Varda. Got 70 heroes behind a blink forward. They find Puppy. So more protection snowball. is there. But they're going towards Moogie, Rage going to wear off in a second, actually going up towards Kaka. They break through a long, long way with the Death Ward out, going to be cancelled off. And again, SDCC, he's having this battle away from the rest of his team, and successfully Ace can't do anything about it working with KP. So it's a one-for-one -one trade off. And now it's Witch Doctor who will fall as well, making a two-for-one, making a three-for-one. Yamsor being surrounded by Newbie. In the meantime, Morphling hitting the two, uh, the two bottom, just starting now. He's actually gonna, he's not going to go for the stray shotgun, he's going for yeah. Manda style after this. Yeah. Makes me think he's probably not going to go for a shotgun at all. He's just going to play the stats Morphling, mm -hmm. like Manta and Tuscati, something like that. Maybe even BKB. Yeah, that shotgun was so good early in yeah. the day. Like, if you take out Wyvern, if you take out that Winter's Curse. I mean, especially this game, also if you got shotgun, you can actually save your teammates. Oh. We can strike it. Silence as well. You can strike more oh. all you want. But I don't think you're out this one, CTY. Newbie, bring the numbers. Uh, like, sustainable items, all for him. Beastmaster has a level 1 Necro book. So, not the greatest thing in the world for KP. But Ace, Avalanche, Toss, Waveform, Fall, and Oh boy! Okay! It Pop, was. Pop goes the weasel in the mid lane. Faith is still on the run. Nace is right behind him, doesn't have a tree to work with, but it won't matter when CTY. Yeah, you really don't need me like it. Oh, CTY, the hunting man getting Kaka. Got a special delivery. Uh oh, careful now. Observer and sentries are down. Same thing for Team Secret. They have the road off, but they get the crush. Overall, two Lincoln Spear will trigger CTY. He's going to create a little bit more space. Paralyzing cars. 
problematic for Nubi to continue to move. And the Maledict Death Ward. There's so much damage going into the slaughter, but Puppy realizes he has to back up. Adaptive Strike creating so much space. And Nubi Smoke Gank is going to fail. Kaka. Well, he's looking to cancel TP. As he actually was able to do that up on top lane. There's Yapsaw snowballing up Puppy again with the paralyzing cast, throwing out the practical ravage. Replicate in two. Interesting. Wait, he just did? Oh, he, he, he got three grabs. Right now, he got three grabs. All oh, the drops! Kaka with three, but the damage from the ball blink is ridiculously high! Father's only one trigger as well. He caught the brunt the initial attack from Team Movie. Repaired and all with his ultimate. Now the curse is out. It's on Tiny, but he breaks free in an instant. Morphling, CTY, he actually gets himself waveformed down, then jumps out to his Puppy. Puppy, space created by Yapsaw, but not enough. SCCC's Crypt Swarm can reach over the blocks of ice. They have Aegis Cheese, they have Abaddon, they have AC. I think it's time for them to dictate this game. I agree. Nubi are looking like they want to try and fight. They use this for the blast, trigger off the Lincoln Speed to start with. And it's a bad to the front line. Sparta has his wand in his backpack at the moment. Not quite certain if that was the intention. His wand's just sitting in his backpack. No cheese, but... Oh, 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 oh Kaka! Where was your life, Sunny Jim? Ripped apart so quickly. Fada wants to find more. Nubi is on the run. They're gonna find Faith. He already burnt the curse. The concept must have been throw a curse in back line, attack front line. Thing. And like Something whenever like, with their arms, they try and eat food at the table. It's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> anyway, back back to reality. I mean, Dota. Uh, newbie on the hunt, wrapping all the way around. Observer and Sentry Wards are there. They're going to find themselves at Roshan, but they are all the way around. The fact that the Observer Ward, the Observer Ward saw the tail end no, of them. Now, Team Secret can react, but they only saw the very end of Nubi moving up to the high ground, so they just go in. Ace is beating away at that melee Rax. They do not have fortification. They burnt it before to try and protect themselves from the first damage. Now Kaka jumps in, but Ace, man to dodge it. The Ross the back line, so Yap will take down this fight, but the damage is still there. They'll get the exorcism of NCCC. He needs to be able to lift the Spirit Cyphers. We'll give him that for the moment. He played Pop is still available. Where is this regeneration going to come from? Wait, four bound. It's too much for the Beastmaster to handle for the crotches. Nice from Kaka, maybe with the damage. Oh, oh Nubi, they can't stand their ground. SCCC, he has Kaka to help create a little bit of space for him to regenerate. The Octarine call was giving him just a little bit more, but Team Secret, too strong, too good, too furious. Yeah, we spoke about how Nubi's on the clock this match. Just like him, they can't compete with the Tiny and Morphing at all because essentially they're both two very hard carries backed up by an Abaddon. Man, that clock just run out. Yep, and it's over. Yeah, uh, Team so, Secret, they're basically pirates, they hook, they smash all the clocks. Tiebreaker secured, if they can get another win, then they're oh, for sure. Oh, maybe, yeah, Tiebreaker is secured if we can get a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, Tiebreaker secured at least for Secret. So, they won't... Just yeah, now. Okay, I just want to make sure, because I, I legitimately don't remember which team had which line. <laughs> this is like 20 seconds ago. Well, sure, every single last hit you can get Kaka. Very low. Yapsaw shotting him up. And the Sandstorm, they can't see him. The Snowball at point blank range allows Yapsaw to get the last little bit of damage and force him out of the Sandstorm. Yapsaw now whirling death connects. One more attack will do it. Mugi, he's behind him, but he's got no way to close the distance. Reduce the damage, get back behind the tower, and Mugi has burnt a lot of mana to try and get this kill, and has not succeeded. I said, now Puppy, glimpsing back as CTY. I don't think he's fully ready for that. Rubik getting pick, picking him up and throwing him back down again. SDCC, he needs a little bit more damage. That Crypt Swarm should be enough. If he can hit the target, he actually hits with a bait attack. Up the hill, Puppy could do nothing more. I love how he's doing the pulls himself, <laughs> dragging the Radiant Creep Wave over so we can farm up the neutral camps. This is this is wonderful for Maze, because hey, the, the Dire Creep Wave's not going to do anything. Rolling Bolter forward, Faith wants to keep running out of this one. Karka's in the neighborhood, but then again, so is Puppy. They can keep that vision up, a quick glimpse. Karka, shards block him in. They don't need to oh no! His bar strike wasn't far enough, which allows CTY to hit... It, uh, it does make for a little bit more of a passive mid lane, which for... It does. For CTY and for Team Secret, it definitely seems to be a lot more advantageous for them. Yeah, for sure.
Because this top lane is still nothing. Like, KP is a non-factor in this game at the moment. Ace is already at level 7 to the level 4 of KP. Plans to feel we get to reveal him in the trees. Ace wants to keep this movement going. And KP straight out. He TPs to the tier 2 tower, so it's not too far away. There's 126 stolen points of damage now bottom lane. They're diving in underneath the tier 1 and tier 2 tower. Kaka goes for the burrow strike. There's no time to ravage. Picking up Yaxor, keeping the sun over on Farda. The shards don't block in Moogie, but Moogie, 17 one shots will give him his mana back again if they want to try and fight him. And they pull him back in range of the tower. Reactive armor charges starting to build up the Moogie, but they're also dissipating quickly too. As there we go. There's your damage with the whirling death. Lost the shark from damage. We'll go up the hill. What are they doing down on uh, on bottom? Ace again, finding himself underneath towers. They, they went up smoke up with the DP and get the bot tower with exorcism, or maybe maybe not even smoke, just go for it straight. Well, well Barra strike over on the tide hunter. Support can rotate over. He has Ravage available if he wants to pop it. More help is on the way, and here comes the shards trying to block him out. Kaka in fifth room. Oh, Farner actually ended up just popping anyway. And Yapso will follow him into the afterlife. The snowball heroes, only yeah. delays the inevitable. Unless, well, one charges, keep the distance from the exorcism, and shards. Oh, no! He can at least claim the bounty room, but exorcism spirits are able to catch him. Now, Ace tries to turn the damage in. Remember, SCCC, that exorcism is going to last a little bit longer, but will last long enough. He kind of actually wanted to last less time than that. Plaster Field. Uh, it's on cooldown. It, it, Moogie, it, the shards from Yamso will find the kill. Ace gets brought down by the Chakram. Next. But so still working on his Bloodstone. Nice deep observer Radiant ward from Team Secret. Down. Just back behind the tower, Puppy. Able to get the vision on him to glimpse into the storm. Oh, the shards are almost pushing him out. In fact, I think it does. Dual Scepter up into the air. SCT will hit the ground. Ravage connects into the back lines. They're just trying to keep KP out of this fight to stop SCC from getting more life. The shards again pushing out, but into the waiting hands of CTY. But BKB is also really important for him, so I'm not entirely sure which way he's going to take. Here comes Newbie down the four mid. Four-man smoke. Yeah, four-man smoke up. Then that blink dagger, Kaka, closed the distance quickly and Siege... Yeah, right. <laughs> he's, he's dead. They might and... want to go Roche with the Exorcism now. Yeah, that they might. Yapsaw oh, could observe a ward. This is what helped them set all this up. The silence will be there. Yapsaw will fall. The other reason why you need that BKB. Back is the front lines. They push towards that tier 2 tower. And where is that jump in? Fada's looking for the opportunity. He's not visible where he is. And SCCC is in a pretty susceptible position. Wait for that BKB. It's coming out from Ace. And now SCC does the same kind of thing. Turns around with the Spirit side. It's the backline puppy. It's playing around with the SK. They're going to bring him down, or will they? The Barra strike up. It comes a little bit too late. Fada's Ravage comes at the perfect time. Connecting into Faith. Not allowing him to steal and return that. But Moogie is a real pain in the butt. He's going through four heroes, but he is all alone. Did so much damage, but no friends to hold his hand and follow up. And Team Secret get the fight they were searching for. Same thing with those aggressive TPs. You can send them back. KP blinking forward. They want to kill him off quickly, and they're able to do so. 51 seconds without KP. Moogie jumps in closer, but the Razors, they're doing work all with the stack. Epicenter in from Kaka in the back lines. At least he can bring down Ace. But it's up to CTY with Puppy glimpsing back in Kaka. The pickup is there from Faith. The damage, it will finally be done to bring down Kaka. But Faith on the run. The physical DPS from this SF is huge. But it's the Yapsaw of all bloody ass people that takes the triple kill out of this fight. Further than 6k as well. And it's only going to get bigger, honestly. Like, they can't fight these BKBs at all. They can't contest them. They still have Silver Reg, but the glimpse, pulling Moogie in, Requiem a point blank range. They really wanted that kill and they got it. The Ravage controller, Faith, as well as SCCC. Ravage was stolen by Faith. They have to be careful about this and be very mindful. It had to have been called out. But where's the jump, Puppy? He would love to have a glimpse back. Faith, they're trying to keep him alive. And now the Ravage from Faith. It connects on Ace as well as on Fada. Epicenter coming in from the SK. Some decent damage with the BKBs from Ace as well as from CTY. Will allow him to survive. Puppy won't be so lucky. Spirit Cypher making an escape. Very okay. difficult to say the least. But again, Exorcism expended. Oh, they blinked in. Ow, ow, SCC ow, is taking so much damage from Ace. Up into towards the air. KP wants to jump in. Now it's SF's turn, but SCC's already got the double kill. Thanks to that Exorcism. They were battling against Kaka, who was keeping the rest of Team Secret occupied. But Mugi TP's up towards the shrine. You can say goodbye to your little, little Tuscar. Rolling boulder forwards in to Kaka. 
Managed to smoke gank around the back. They have Ravage available on Nubi. Careful. They still have the high ground. They know where they're going to be up on the west, but this initiation, it has to be perfect from Team Secret or else they're gonna get counter initiated very heavily. Here comes your Ravage. BKB from SC was very quick for the SK. Deleted from the face of the Earth Mookie. He actually has a small bit of defense thanks to that low stop of his, but Ace starting to steal a heavy amount of damage. How much can he pump in? 280 points. How much he stop with the Ravage? Stolen from Faith, hitting three heroes for Team Secret, and they're already on the run. The Requiem of Souls makes it a little bit more difficult to pump the damage. They retreated back up towards the Shrine, but Mugi spoiling the party. Somehow, only one hero from either side is dead. And Ace is just going straight to the bottom lane. He can push the wave out, force Nubi to come back if he wants to, and then TP out himself. And already, Nubi are Going into the favor of Nubi. It seems like Team Secret only get like a large portion of money when they're able to take a team fight. And the rest of the time, it's just... It's newbie playing the good, the good global game as opposed to before in the early game where it was more of a you know, newbie's actually really good for split push. Fire and strike is out. Here comes Ravage number one, and again the SK controlled up SEC at his BKB. So he is able to back up from this. The Lotus Souls protecting him for the moment, and now Guardian Angel being worked out. Requiem of Souls, Farter in for that second Ravage. Ravage stolen by Faith. He's gonna look to return in just a second. Farter dropping low, they can't force himself away. Far enough, ah. and Faith's Ravage doesn't click anything. They're all too far out, so Ravage is burnt on both sides, and again, the wall is there. They're trying to keep the distance, but it won't be enough. Yep, so will fall. And he's got a blink dagger this time. He only hit the four staff last time. Now yep. it's blink and four staff. Now it can actually get properly in pos into position. Because if the ravage of Rubik actually hits one or two more people, well, it didn't hit anyone, right? Yeah. If it hits one or two people, Ooh. then it will be very. Oh. Kaka has to use such to get off. Oh, the God. lightning storm, so they would have to have it pulled back in again. The physical ah. damage bomb. From <laughs> They're diving in deeper. Farter, pick him up, toss him around like Ruby a chop melon, but then again, the glimpse pulls him away once more. Unable huh. to get the positioning, the shards locking in KP. There's a wraparound from the rear face. He'll pick up the gem of true side, but Ace is looking for the kill. He turns on the static link. He'll bring in the physical damage. KP will fall. Brought down with the help of CTY. They turn their attention towards Mookie. The, the Ravage is in there from Faith. It hits hard, but he's already lost his timber saw. Now he'll lose his life as well. Mookie with four in the grave, three without five back in SECC. He'll burn the BKB in order not to be dragged back in. But this is the big Roshan they were all looking for. It's the Refresher Shard. It is the multiple ultimate ability. No. Or was that, and it happened just before the SF was picked up. Yeah. So was, when, when we noticed it. He was probably like, just give me that and I'll own them. Scythe of Vice now up for the Timber Soul. Yeah, but no so buyback anymore. New disable available. He's out holding onto the cheese because they're going to switch at the Lotus Orb, but that side of the is knackered yet. Yeah. So another five ow, seconds ow. to go, but they're burning through the Razor. Now the Storm, Ravage number one. They're protecting on the SK! The damage when you got the BKB SF buff! Faith and Kaka just evaporate. Once a ball with an Earth Ball speed, Yasmo. And Wolf with a shark to think once more. Waiting to get the damage in. And then he's seen he kept him off. He needs to have some guns. The Ravage connects over on two. The Gush being pushed back again. Fata's low on, uh, on armor, but it won't matter when the supports arrive. Fata back in once more, standing in the middle of everything, allowing the rest of Team Secret to pump the damage in. And to hopefully, if they can do it, Team White Newbie, there she is. No buybacks available. Kaka. Refresh out on Razor now as well, by the yeah. way. He'll have double ulti in uh, 20 seconds. So I don't they, they, can, they can melt me through the towers with uh, Death Robber still being dead for 10 more seconds. So they just jump forward. Boogie trying to be protected with a load of salt. Tipper chains away. Static Link stolen 184 points of damage, I think that was. And it's a woo -hoo! Ah, 922 crit onto a poor little Rubik. Two heroes dead once more. And Newbie, even with Death Robber coming back to life again, 
It just doesn't look like they're gonna have the numbers available to, to defend this. The tier four towers are exposed. The megas are up for Team Secret. Radiance middle tower is under and attack. they're beating in to the tier four towers. Death Prophet's alive. This is the last hurrah for Newbie. Ace jumps in. Instant static link cancel. They got eight damage stolen out of that one. SECC turns on the exorcism as well as the BKB. Needs to have another attack. Now Plata. Ravage number one. Ravage number two follows up. The BKBs protect a couple of Newbie, but they realize it's over. It's GG. They've lost too many. And Team Secret take two games. Fantastic round for them. Exactly what they needed in this group stage. Yeah, it was a pretty action-packed game, but in the end, you know, their draft was like 